Uh, my name is Jillian Jones. I've lived in Sedona for 14 years. Just a hardworking person who one day had an experience that is unforgettable. It was a Saturday morning and it was an absolutely beautiful normal day on May 2nd of this year. Um, I went to work and uh, we had the habit of me working a Saturday afternoon uh, every other week and the other gal worked Saturday morning and she was on her way out the back door. I, I had gone to work, it was typical, and I was waiting on a customer. And the next thing I remember, it was about five or six days later. I was number one blessed, and this is so important. Huh? Uh, my co-worker was on her way out the back door and heard the crash because I fell on my face. And Wendy Tanzer, a uh, new CPR, my co-worker, and rushed back in, and first thing she did was call the EMTs. They were there in approximately four minutes, and she started CPR almost immediately. And it is thought that she probably saved my brain, and I'm grateful to her. I would, the next thing I remember is being wheeled to a room where they installed the pacemaker defib. And after that, just laying in ICU, just kind of in and out for a couple of weeks. and. Uh, then put in a regular unit, and I think a week and a half later, was able to come home, which I was grateful for. It, this was all just a, a complete shock. I have led a very, in the last 30 years, an extremely helpful, healthy life, good diet, all this, and as it ends up, this had nothing to do with diet or, or um, no clogged arteries. This was due to a virus that attacked the heart muscle. But I have to admit at that point I was so frustrated because I was so incredibly weak. Couldn't stand, hurt all over, the ribs of course, and feeling probably a little bit sorry for myself for a short period of time. And then said, no, this is the time to be grateful. And it turned into an undying and forever gratefulness. Number one to my friend Wendy, number two to the EMTs, which I will forever in my life and my granddaughters and my husband will be embedded. Hi, I'm Champion Max Foam Reifenkugel, and uh, I go to school here in Sedona at the high school, and I'm here to tell you about my experience with uh, hands-on CPR. So I was actually certified at my school during my, in my PE class by some of the firefighters in uh, Sedona, and um, less than two weeks after being certified, while driving down 89A between Cottonwood and Sedona, there was a guy on the side of the road laying on his back, and his bike was on the side of the road, too, and he looked pretty cut up, and there's people around him. So we pulled over, and he wasn't breathing, and then all of a sudden I'm like, wow, I'm certified for this. Like, it just happened. People might think, oh, I'm never going to have to use CPR, but you'd be surprised. I, I thought that, too, until less than two weeks afterward it happened. So. I remember them saying, if you don't want to get breaths, you don't have to, and you can just do good compressions, and that can work just as well, or even better in some cases. So I just stuck to like trying to do really good compressions and making sure I got like the right pressure and stay consistent and uh, the right ratio. It was like it was kind of cool being directing it and like knowing how to do it, because then you're, like you know he has the best chance of surviving. After that, the uh, firefighters came, took over, but they said like. I did everything right. There's people around me who are like, oh, I'm a physician, let me do it, or oh, I'm a doctor, let me do it. And uh, it's something that people should know. It's like, it's not that complicated. It's just, you have to know the ratio and pressure, and that's it. And it's like, you don't have to have a PhD to do it. So everybody should try to get certified if they can, because you can help save somebody. My name's Wayne Bell. Uh, uh, 72 years old, I'll be 73 in March. This has uh, been a great experience that I'm still alive, thanks to a lot of people that worked hard to try to get me back from a uh, heart attack at the Elks Lodge in Sedona. You know, coming up to my heart attack uh, is just a normal day. It just uh, Everything just seemed normal. I didn't have uh, experience any uh, pains or anything beforehand. The uh, high school students were going to put on a skit for the Elks Lodge. And I turned in my chair to 
look to see what they were going to do. And that's the last I remember for a day and a half. My wife said that I just my head went back and I had a funny look and she hollered for help. Fortunately, I had one lady that uh, had just taken the uh, latest CPR course. She took over right away and started the CPR. After the paramedics got there, which was really quick, I'd say less than uh, around four minutes or less, and they jumped in and did the continued CPR for about 20 minutes. And I sure am glad that they didn't give up. If you do CPR right, you could crack the rib or two. And it happened. And I'd rather have a couple cracked ribs and be dead. This is uh, Daisy, the lady that uh, started CPR first. And this is a crew from uh, Fire Station 4 that uh, were the ones there at the uh, Elks that worked on me and did the CPR and saved my life.